Hey guys, what's up? It's Milma here, and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on the basics of a web view and how to load uh, a website, uh, and then I'll be going into more advanced tutorials later. So without further ado, let's open up Xcode, new project. View based for iPhone is fine, and I'm going to call mine web view. Save that to my desktop. Make the screen bigger. Go into the classes and go to the .h or the header file. Now we're only going to need one web uh, one outlet for this, and that's going to be the web view. So go into the at interface and IB outlet UI web view start web view. Oh, not web view l web view. There you go. Now go into the resources and web view controller dot nib. Now all we need is the web view which can be found in the library so drag that out let it size to full screen uh, just a bit off there now go into the document files owner and link up the web view once that's done save IB go back to Xcode and go into the main uh, window main folder sorry now find the code that says that's greened out and it says void view did load. Ungreen it by deleting the two slash and asterisks before and after the green. Now we're going to go inside the curly brackets but before the super view did load. We're going to press enter and we're going to type web view <clears throat> just like we typed in the dot h. Then we're going to go load request open another square bracket ns URL request, no, not the autocomplete. Request, request with URL. Then we're going to go another square bracket, NS URL, URL with string. Then we're going to do at quotes and then we're going to put in our website address. Now I've already got mine copied because it's Google's, so I'm going to paste that in there. Now make sure you have this HTTP colon forward slash forward slash because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So make sure you have that in there anyway, just because sometimes the web view won't load. Then end the quotes, end the three uh, square brackets, put a semicolon, save, and uh, we should be able to build and run and uh, see how it goes. So uh, just pop over to the thing and uh, if my internet works Google should load and as you can see there's Google and it's a fully functioning web view it's got the scroll and everything we can uh, go into the Google bar here and type so I'm gonna search on the hi and search and as you can see we've got hi there <laughs> so uh, yeah the reason why we didn't need a button for this is because we use the view did load and uh, the, view, the view did load uh, allows us to basically what it is as soon as the view loads it should do this code so we don't need any button for it so uh, in the next tutorial the more advanced one I'll be going over how you can implement back buttons forward buttons refresh buttons and all sorts of stuff like that uh, into the web view so you can go back and forward between pages uh, that link should appear here so uh, thanks for watching guys uh, see you in the next tutorial. If you like my videos, give me a comment and uh, tell me what other videos you would like to see from me. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe.